Today, we are simming the Clippers' future after the James Harden trade. So as I'm sure all of you guys saw, James Harden was traded to the Clippers Monday night at like 1 a.m. It was absolutely insane. Woj just dropped it basically out of nowhere. I think we all were expecting it to happen at some point, but I just don't think anybody was expecting it to happen so soon. So I did the exact trade that happened in real life. So we now have the big four of Kawhi, Paul George, James Harden, and Westbrook. We still have Zubak as our center, and then basically the rest of the team is not amazing. And we also did add PJ Tucker and then Philip Petrosev. These guys don't really matter in the long run. They were just involved in the trade. So we'll see what happens. This big four might only stay together for just one year. If they do, we'll be sure to do a couple more years with the Clippers because there's just no way they lose all of them. As usual, I have no control over the team. Let's go ahead and sim right to the All-Star break and we will check in with the squad then. All right, we are here at the All-Star break. The squad is 37 and 16. It is going amazing so far. Here is the squad's stats. Paul George, leading scorer with 20.8. Harden just behind him with 20.2. Kawhi at 18. Westbrook at 14. They all have pretty similar rebound numbers from four to six. Harden has 9.7 assists, basically taking all the run away from Westbrook, who is just averaging six assists, probably one of his career lows. But really, this is what we expected. The stats are going to go down, but it won't matter because they're going to win. That's the all-star break checkup. Let's go ahead and sim right to the end of the season. John Morant wins MVP 31, 6, and 9 for him. Wemby, of course, wins Rook of the Year like he does in every single sim. Giannis, DPOY. And Bede wins Clutch Player of the Year 29, 11, and 3. And here we are in the postseason. We had a little bit of a fall off to end the season. We are actually now the two-seed Golden State is the one seed out of the play in the West, Portland and Phoenix in the East, Milwaukee and New York. This Phoenix Suns team does struggle in Sims. We have seen that. Can LA get revenge for what happened to them last year? Let's go game by game as we take game one. We take game two, two, one. And we are up three, one. Have a chance to move on to the second round. And we do. We will face off against MVP John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies in the second round. Only two upsets. The Lakers upset the Pelicans and the Knicks upset the Cavs. Actually sweep them. But here we go. Second round against the three-seeded Memphis Grizzlies. Game one we will take. And we take a quick 2-0 lead. 3-0, 3-1, 3-2. Not looking great. We had a 3-0 lead. It's now 3-2. This is a massive game. Can we advance to the conference finals? Yes, we can. We have an all LA conference finals, Lakers versus Clippers. And then in the East, we got Philly and Miami. Western conference finals time, game one, the Lakers take on the road. And then we split the first two games. They'll take game three. They'll take game four. Season on the line in game five. And we take it. Game six, chance to force a game seven after being down 3-1. And we take it. We got to hop into some cast for game seven. And oh my God, it's not even close. We embarrass the Los Angeles Lakers. Paul George, 24, 4, and 6. Two and a half steals per game. Wins Western Conference Finals MVP. Jimmy Butler, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And here's a look at the box score of that game seven where we won by nearly 50 points. Harden led in scoring 26, 8, and 6. Paul George with a 23, 4, 12. And then Westbrook, 21, 6, and 7. All of the big four dropped 21 points or more. We got a Clippers Heat Finals. Can the Clippers win the championship in the first year of the Sim? Let's see. Game one, we are going to take. Game two goes to the Heat. Game three goes to the Heat. And we split the series. The crucial game five in LA. And the Heat take it. We'll hop into SimCast with the season on the line. And the Heat are going to get it done. They knock us off. Kawhi gives his best effort 37 7 and 4. Harden 21 5 and 10. Tyler Hero and Jimmy Butler both put up 27 points. And year number one ends in failure, perhaps the last year of the big four, since they were all on one-year deals. Jimmy Butler, finals MVP, 28, 5, and 6. Three steals a game. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and see if the guys are going to stay together in year number two. They only kept two of them. Kawhi Leonard stays with the Clippers, as does Paul George. They're here for four more years. Let's go see where our guys went. Harden has joined the Raptors, and no team has picked up Russell Westbrook. He is a free agent. That has really surprised me. He was on a very cheap contract. I don't know why nobody picked him up, but nobody nobody got him. So it's just a big two for the next two years on the LA Clippers. Let's go ahead and hop into year number two. Jokic wins MVP 25, 12, and 10. Bradley Beal, sixth man of the year for the Suns. Evan Mobley, DPOY. Scoot Henderson, most improved 21, 5, and 5. And then Luka, clutch player of the year, 30, 10, and 9. As you'll quickly see, the Clippers are not in the playoffs, so we'll get right through this. It was a real, real bad season for them. 
And if they don't re-sign these guys, this is what their future could legitimately look like because they simply don't have draft picks. They traded them all away to get these guys, and it could be really bad for them. Heat win the finals once again, 23-4-5 and for Jimmy Butler for his second straight finals MVP. Russell Westbrook does retire. His last team was the Clippers, although he didn't play for us last year, as does Mason Plumlee for the Clippers. So this team continues to get worse as we enter the third and final year. Here is the roster for the third and final year. We have Paul George regressing significantly. He is now down to an 82 overall. Kawhi also takes a pretty big hit. He's down to an 89. We're still Vika Zubak. I don't know, Bones Highland. This team is going to be bad, but let's just go ahead and get through this third and final season and then take a look at the stats. Josh Giddy wins MVP 24, 8, and 9. Chet Holmgren is sixth man of the year for the Thunder. Wemby, DPOY. Of course, unsurprisingly, the Clippers did not make the playoffs, so we'll go ahead and sim right through the postseason. Western Conference Finals MVP, Shea. Eastern Conference Finals MVP, Tyrese Halliburton. Thunder, Pacers, Finals. And the Pacers win in six games, led by Tyrese, 24, 3, and 9, a steal and a half per game. And that will do it for the Sim. Here's a look at the stats for the guys. They're not going to be anything impressive due to the fact that they were getting old and were also on a very good squad. Here's Paul George's best season was that first one. He put up 21 points per game and led our squad in scoring. And then here is a look at the main guy of the Sim, James Harden, in the season with the Clippers. He put up 19.7, 4.7, and 9.8 on pretty good efficiency. He had a pretty good game. Year. Those stats do seem pretty realistic to what could happen in the actual NBA. But then he went and left to the Raptors, and now he is regressing pretty heavily as well. So that will do it for the sim. I know this video is shorter than what my videos usually are, but still, if you made it to the end, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to watch the raw and uncut footage, be sure to go check out my Twitch, Boss 30 yti I also will be streaming over there randomly, whether I'm playing 2K, whether it's, you know, Rec or Pro-Am, or I think I might even stream Fortnite this Friday when the OG map comes back. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it really is helpful for the channel subscribe for more content just like this and then always be sure to comment any ideas you may have i'll put it right down on my list of video ideas also be sure to turn the bell on so you can be one of the first people to see the new videos but that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Absolutely.